Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to use one of my favorite EdTech tools, Padlet. Padlet's been around for a long time and it keeps getting better year after year. And the latest version of it has some really nice features. I'm going to show you those. But first, I want to show you everything you need to know to get started using Padlet. So let's take a look at it. Go to Padlet.com. You can use it in your web browser. You can get the Windows app. You can also get the mobile apps for it. We're going to use it here in the web browser. Now, I'm already signed into my account, and we're going to go ahead and make a Padlet. Now, Padlet has a few different templates that you can pick from. You have a map, a canvas where you can connect your notes. You can make things in a timeline format. You can have things in shelves or columns. You can have everything snap to a grid. You can have everything in a stream, or you can use the standard wall layout where you can drag and drop and move things all over the place. Doesn't matter which one of these templates you pick because all the notes can be added in the same way. So let's just get started here and use the standard wall format. And we're going to choose a title. We'll just call it things to talk about. And we'll say this is a collection of notes from Mr. Byrne and, and his students. Now, we have a unique link generated for our Padlet wall, and we can copy and paste that to share it with anybody we want to share this Padlet wall with. Now, let's change the background. We can choose from different colors, different pictures. You can even upload your own picture. And here I can even say I want to use this as my background picture. And so that's my background picture. I can have it tiled or I can have it fill the screen. I can blur it if I want to. But I'm going to go back and just use a solid color for this demo. And I'm going to make that color kind of this maroonish, reddish color. Or maybe I'll use that nice brown color or orange or green. I like green. Let's go with green. So we can use that as our wallpaper. And we can choose our font styles, choose a color scheme of light or dark. And we can now look at post attributions. This will display the name of the person who adds a note to the wall. And we can allow comments or not allow comments on the notes that are posted on the wall. We can allow reactions. So we can say, yes, we like it. We can even grade it if we wanted to, but we're just going to have a like it, kind of a thumbs up if you like someone's post. Now, as a teacher here, I always will require approval and I will filter profanity. So I'm all set up there. Now we can start posting. And when we post, we can do it in a couple of ways. You can double click to bring up the notes or go to the bottom right corner and click add post and you'll be adding a note. Either way works the same way. Now let's just put in my first thing here and this is just my thought of the day. It's a good idea to start your, your day with a plan for the day. And we can make that note appear in white, red, orange, green, blue, or purple, and publish it. And there's my thought of the day. Now we can go and move that over. If we have more notes, we can go and move them around. Let's add another note. This is a video note. Let's 
watch the video to learn more. Now, we can add videos in a couple of ways. We could link to them. Click on that link button and you can record a video with the video recorder. You could also link to the video. You can even use the YouTube option here. And let's search for a YouTube video and let's look for a video about Padlet. And we can see lots and lots of Padlet tutorials, including mine about how to create mind maps and webs with Padlet. And let's publish that one. And there we have it. Now there are lots of different formats for your notes as we just saw there. You can, again, use the video recorder, the camera, the built-in screen recorder, the built-in audio recorder. You can upload a note. Let's say we want to upload a PDF. I have a PDF here on my desktop and I'm going to use that one. And I'll say, read this and we'll publish it and we'll see that PDF. And that PDF will be displayed right here in the page for us. Now, I want to share this Padlet wall with my students so that they can add their notes onto the wall. So to do that, let's go to the share button and we can add members by clicking on that add members button and adding in their email addresses. That's one option. You'll see right now, by default, my Padlet wall is secret, but anyone who knows the link for it can write on it. But again, on the previous screen, I enabled moderation, so I have to review everything before the notes go live. Now we can change that privacy. And the privacy setting that I like to use is to use the members only option and say that only people who are logged in to their Padlet account can add notes to it. You could also do this, use the password option and then put in a password, like password, I wouldn't recommend that one, but for our demo, we'll say password. And we can say that our visitors can write on the wall, or they can edit, or they can just read. I will leave it as they can write. So now people have to use that password with the link. They don't need a Padlet account, but they do need that password. Okay. Now, we can get the link to our account. We can get a QR code. We can embed this into my blog or web page. You can see here, I can even export it as a PDF. Now, obviously, if you export it as an image, a PDF, a CSV, or a spreadsheet, you won't have the option to play the videos back and you won't have the PDF enlarged for you. So those options aren't terribly convenient. And of course, we can see there, you can share it to Google Classroom. Let's take a look now and see how a visitor will use this wall. So let's open this up. And I'm gonna have my demo student here. My demo student is going to use this Padlet wall. And he's going to see right here that he needs to put in the password. So he puts in the password, and now he can see the wall, and he can double click, and he can write his note and say, this is a sample note. And he's going to, let's say, add in a little 
YouTube link. And maybe he's going to look for a barking dog. And he's going to submit that. Now, it'll say that it's awaiting approval. And we'll also see that the person, my student in this case, is anonymous. Okay. So as the owner of the Padlet wallet, let's now go back in and see the teacher view of this. Okay. I'm going to see that an anonymous person has submitted this one and I can approve it or remove it. I'm going to approve it here. So I've used here the option, again, in my sharing, of anyone who has the link and the password can write. If I wanted my students to have their names appear, I would need them to be members, and they would need to have signed into a Padlet account, which they can create with a Google account or using an email and password. But in this case here, I allowed it to be anybody who has the password for the wall can write. But again, they're anonymous. Now the solution to this would be, if you don't want your students to have Padlet accounts, you could have them simply write their names in the note along with the note that they, use, that they add. So that's a short overview of everything you need to know to get started using Padlet. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.